doing a review. It's been a while. I know. I know. It's been a while. Boom. Friends. Now, I got this on release date. Was super excited. Used VIP points. Got it for $20. $20 because I had $75 voucher. Was sick. Um, pretty nice set. I'll show you it right now. This is Lego set 21319, Friends Central Perk. Has seven figures? Bang. Got that right. Seven figures and 1,500 pieces, I believe. Uh, I'll start with the figures. Now, this is the first figure, Rachel Green from Friends. Duh. Um, I'll just spin it around for you. But, uh, some of the reasons I haven't been posting is laziness, uh, didn't want to, had too much on. So now that it's holidays, I have a sick video coming out soon. I hope you guys watch that one. Um, it's taken me a long time and a lot of effort, but I think, uh, it'll be good. And, um, hopefully it'll make you think so, too. I don't know. Um, so this is Rachel. She has what? She's the only figure with print, not printed, but legs. Like, and she's got like the dishcloth. I don't know. It must be dishcloth. Um, and then there's the blue, the blue torso. And they've got this thing that I hate in Lego, where um, the sides of her are slightly blue there to make her appear skinnier, and it's supposed to be in Lego form. And I don't really understand why they make her skinnier. And I don't think it works that well. So I, I just don't like that. You can see it on the back as well. And it's also slightly uneven. So yeah, I don't like the look of that. Uh, she does have an alternate face. Uh, which is her looking a bit angry. And then, yeah, this is what it looks like. Next figure. This is Chanan Lebong. Uh, a small reference from the show. Um, you can laugh if you want to. That was hilarious. Um, he's got probably the most accurate face that I've seen out of all the figures. Uh, no printing on the legs, uh, printing on the shirt, just like a vest, a plain vest. Don't know if it's exclusive or not, haven't checked, haven't bothered. Um, trust me, I'm gonna get better lighting soon, don't worry. Um, I know I say that every episode, but I'm getting a camera soon, which is good. And so, hopefully it'll look better at least. Um, hair, and then he looks more happy on that side, but it more reflects his, him as a character with this side. Uh, next character. This is F Phoebe Buffet. Um, she has a guitar as her, um, piece, and I'll show you the rest of the set later in reference to that. Um, she has a very Phoebe-looking outfit. No printing on the legs either. I wish they would have given some of these figures printing on the legs, but that's all you can do sometimes. Uh, she has green torso with, like, red prints. Oh, and a bit of gold, as you can see, as I reflected off the light. Uh, purple arms. Purple up on the top of her torso. And, oh, this is not good. But, uh, you can take her head off and it's surprised. Let me just focus in on that. It's surprised. And... Then on the back, there's also gold. And on the front, she's just smiling. Uh, next figure. This is Gunther. Probably the least known of the figures, but still quite a popular character in this series. He has, like, a cool torso with, like, a, a pretty cool tie. Sick tie. Um, yeah, it's pretty sick. He's got a broom. Pretty useless, I'll be honest. Uh, the white Vlad hairpiece, I like to call it, because it's just a vampire hairpiece. And on the back, just a couple bits of printing. No leg printing, as usual with these figures. On to the next one. This is Monica, probably the second best figure in the ser set, I'd say, after Chandler. Um, she has a really cool torso print. Again, you can see the thinning um, that they've tried to do with these figures that I just don't like, with the black lines. Um, and on the back, very much the same. Take... Take the hair piece off, and you'll see she's a bit annoyed on that side, and just happy on this side. On to the next figure. This is Joey holding a piece of pizza, and having a man bag. I'm not sure if there is a man bag in the set, uh, I mean the series. I haven't really paid attention. 
but he's got a really cool uh, torso print with uh, red and red jacket and white t-shirt. Oh, that just went weird. A uh, red red uh, jacket, white t-shirt, and on the back just a bit of printing. No leg printing as usual. He's got pizza. He looks very confident. It almost gave me Superman vibes. This uh, hair and uh, head combo, but it's very Joey like. And then the other side, he looks more earnest and happy. But this is, I think it's exclusive and it's the far better uh, look. I'll take his man purse off. And if you can see with the torso, it just looks like that. And it's quite cool. On to the next figure. Now, this is what the title of this uh, video is all about. Ross the blob Blobfish. And you made me wondering, why is he a blobfish? And this is why. <laughs> Look at those lines. Just if you can get in close. Get in close. Let's focus this up. I'm not going to focus. Yeah, that sounds about right. In line with this channel. Not focused. Uh, yeah, he's got lines on the side. I'm going to put up a PNG right here. Uh, here's the PNG. Just look at that for a bit, because obviously my camera sucks. So, okay, now back to your regularly scheduled event. Ah, now it's, he actually has a really good torso piece, though. And I'm gonna, he's got a torso piece, blue, uh, brown jacket with a go uh, gold? Yeah, blue and gold tie. Uh, then there's just a bit of printing on the back. Now I'm gonna put on my Blobfish and Ross comparison, and you tell me that they don't look similar. Yeah? See? They look so similar. Now, I'm not saying they should make a blobfish piece, but I'm saying they need one. That's the next Lego Ideas set. Just a blobfish. Blobfish collectible series. Okay, on to the build. This is Central Perk, the build of the set, and is one of the best Lego Ideas builds. It's so detailed. Um, so, I'll just start with the main area. Now, it can detach, so you can just lift it off like this, and you can have a look at it right here. It's got some studs not on top technique, so you build it up from here all the way up, if you didn't know. And just a few technique pins to, uh... What are the technique pins used for? Oh, yeah, yeah, to hold the table over, I think. Now, you can take off these chairs, and they do have a sticker on them. Not many stickers in this set, but th they are quite good. A lot of good printed pieces. Now, you've got the, uh, chair here. And just stick it piece. Uh, you've got the classic uh, couch, which I think they've done really, really well right here. And the just an armchair. They've also got a Lego News calendar. And it just says the greatest hero ever. And then they've got the reserve sticker and whatever. Sugar and flowers and a cup. And table here. I wish the tables had uh, studs so you could put stuff on them. But that's just a small complaint on my part. Uh, here's uh, the piano. So you can interchange the piano here. For where Phoebe um, performs generally. And you can take this piece off as well. Let me see if I can get it off. Ah, okay. I've gotten it off. And I've dropped this. Also. Now. This is that, and it just clips on at the bottom, and it's just a couch and a flower pot. But you can just clip that back in right here while destroying everything else. Uh-oh. Okay. Yep. You can tell I've done this before, can't you? Okay, I think that's clipped in. I'm not even going to bother. Um, and then I'm going to put the flower back. Well, I should probably cut, but I'm too lazy, and why would I do that? Keep it moving. Uh, we keep it moving, don't we? Uh, and so you've got the microphone stand here, and you can interchange that for the piano right here. And that's a reference to Ross's episode where he does his weird techno music, I believe. Uh, you've got a hat stand at the back here with just two umbrellas and a arm, like a helmet. Uh, you've got two lights here, like, I think these are like stage lighting, so you can either have it without them or with them, and uh, you can just clip them off, and it doesn't make too much of a difference, right here, you can just clip it, you can just clip it off, and it looks like a real set, and doesn't break your, uh, 
your role play, I guess, RP. Um, then you've got this other carpet here that you can take off. I'll take that off right here. And you can see on the bottom these three parts which you can take off. Now, I don't... Yeah, you can take that part out. But... Yeah, let me just take... Slide this part out. This set is very finicky, as you can tell, because every time I've at least broken one piece off it, which is unfortunate, but um, it's more for display than play, I'd say. Now, you can see another chair just fell off, but this is uh, another carpet area. Not as good as the other ones, but I understand why. And they don't really give you other figures to place on these, but you can easily make your own figures to be extras or something. That's not hard, and I, I reckon, I believe they encourage that. Uh, I'll put that back. You can see they've got the pillars here, and they are really nice. It's a really good, um, ad addition to the set. It just makes it look so much better without them, and, um, makes it accurate. You've also, if you go to the side here, you have a good idea of what the coffee machine looks like. And you can see that it's gold, and, um, it's really, like, busy, but it looks really cool. And you've got a service sign. You've also got cookies and uh, tabletop here. Um, and there's the central perk. I think, I believe this is a printed piece. Yeah, it's a printed piece. Yeah, it's a printed piece with all the uh, coffees and other things. Now, if we go around to the front of the set, you can see that it looks really accurate. And you could easily build it onto, say, a street setting or one of the Lego other settings. Uh, what are they called? The creator? Lego creator sets. Um... This is meant to go on the inside, so the central perk shows from the inside, but it's more accurate if you do it from this side, so I suggest you do that. But you can pop it either side. This is a reference to Joey's Japanese uh, lipstick ad right here, and you've got a garbage can. And on this side, you've just got a door, a back door, and it just opens like that. This is the ugliest side, and not that you'd show it from this side, but it just looks bad, and it's like... Come on, you could at least fill in this part and this part here. There's nothing stopping you from filling those in. Because it just doesn't look good at all. But I guess you're never going to show it from that side. So you're fine either way. Um, you can see up the back there's a curtain there. Uh, fire chandelier here. Some other stuff. Um, I'd say this is about all with this set. Um, thanks for watching. Actually, I'm going to do the box. I lied. Never mind. I'm professional as always. This is the box. By far, probably the best box I've ever seen in, like, Lego. It's just so detailed and so, like, nice. It's actually massive as well. Like, I did not think it would be this big. Uh, this is a minifigure in comparison. Just have a look. It's a big set. Like, a big box. Um, on the sides, you've got... Uh, all the figures here, and you've got references to some of the other uh, stuff in it, like Pivot from that one episode. If I can show it, I will, right here. Here we go, Pivot! 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 Um, then there's this. It just gives you some of the uh, stuff in it, as well as the Lego ideas. Um process. They've recently changed and I might make a video on it to show how game-changing that is. Uh, you've got Smelly Cat, um, How You Doing, The Fountain, The Table, The Guitar. I, I can't really tell with some of these other ones, but I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching this review. Uh, I will try and get my other video out soon. Uh, it's a big one, I believe, uh, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'm probably not going to make another video for a term, because that's just how it be. That's just how it be. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Critique Bricks. Goodbye.